against a young left-hander who got batted around his last time out against Houston. He, he did. His last couple of starts have been a little bit on the rough side. He started out very strong. And, you know, a lot of times you see a young guy catch fire early on and then come back to the norm. And I think that's what's happened to Mike Leak. We saw it last uh -oh. night. Uh-oh. 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 We were out of here. Molina right, right in the face of Brandon Phillips. And we've yet to set the stage about everything that happened. And you get a look at it. For those who may not have known, Brandon Phillips last night to both Jim Day and Hal McCoy made some comments about the Cardinals, saying he hates the Cardinals and used some less than family language in his descriptions. And as soon as Brandon got to the plate, Yadier Molina got in his face. Now there's Roland and Molina, former teammates. This series has been void of bad blood probably until the end of the night last night. And there's Dusty Baker and Tony La Russa. They've had their issues with one another over the years. Well, I'm really stunned that a war of words would actually cause the benches to empty before they get going in the bottom of the first inning. Obviously, some discourse between Yadier Molina and Brandon Phillips sparked the whole thing. We won't know until after a game exactly what was said. Now Scott, now Scott Rowan is getting into it. And now it is turning ugly. And it's with Chris Carpenter. And Carpenter's the one down there chirping. Carpenter had issues with his own teammates last night. And it is getting really ugly. As we've got punches and kicks. Johnny Cueto, the starting pitcher, is being wrestled away. And this is not good at all because this is the kind of situation where somebody can, can get up, get hurt, get their finger stepped on, and it's just not baseball. I'm hoping that the umpires can get this thing under control and we can get on to playing the game of baseball because nothing is going to be solved by this. But I will tell you one thing, that there is not a lot, a lot of love between these two ball clubs despite the fact that a lot of players on each team have played for the other team before. Now there's going to be some ejections and we're going to find out who. And with our questions and suspensions and fines to follow as well. season for him. He leads national rookies with nine wins, 97 strikeouts, second in innings pitch, and second in ERA. And look at this right away. Molina and Phillips benches clear. Here come the bullpens. This is what baseball's all about, Dan. And Tony the Russo, and Dusty Baker right in the middle of it. It's not the first time, is it? Nope. Scott Rowland was one of the one that grabbed Molina. Carpenter, now Carpenter getting into it. Oh, really got to hold him off. Don't get hurt. Look at this. Well, most of them are trying to stay. Trying to separate it, but this is where you do get stepped on. Don't get There's hurt. Some, There's some punches in there now. Miller is tied up with Billy Hatcher right there. Scott Rowland in the middle of it, too. Yeah, but Scotty's trying to be a peacemaker. I mean, he had grabbed Molina earlier. I think he was trying to control Carpenter. That's one way to get a bigger crowd. Real simple. White guys go to the first base dugout. The great goes to the third base. 